welcome to antenna and wave propagation playlist here in this session i'll be going to discuss different types of dipole antenna so basically there are three different types of dipole antenna so let us have all those three different types of dipole antenna one by one so first dipole antenna that is hertzian dipole now when we say hertzian dipole that is even referred as infinitesimal small dipole so that is even referred as and basically when we talk about this hertzian dipole or infinitesimal small dipole then length of that dipole that is less than lambda by 50 so ultimately if length of dipole is lower than lambda by 50 then that dipole will be hertzian dipole now second dipole antenna is small dipole antenna now small dipole antenna length that is there in between lambda by 50 to lambda by 10 so if length of dipole antenna that is in between lambda by 10 to lambda by 50 then that dipole antenna will be small dipole antenna so based on length one can say if length is lower than 150 lambda by 50 then it will be hertzian dipole antenna if length of dipole is there in between lambda by 10 to lambda by 50 then there will be that will be small dipole antenna and normal dipole antenna that we all know that is having length lambda by 2 so length of dipole antenna with effective radiation it will be lambda by 2 now there are a few small basics that i would like to discuss here when we talk about hertzian dipole antenna practically it is very ineffective dipole antenna and its use is very less so i'll be writing few basics of this hertzian dipole antenna minimum use radiation is ineffective so radiation efficiency is less so radiation efficiency is less and losses are more with this so higher losses which is there with this hertzian dipole and it is having larger region of reactive field it has larger region of reactive field so these are the basics which is there with hertzian dipole so what is hertzian dipole hertzian dipole is having length which is lower than lambda by 50 when we talk about its uses then it is been used with very marginal applications usually people are not using it and it is very difficult to fabricate its radiation efficiency is less it is having higher loss and it has larger region of reactive field so because of it has larger region of reactive field 
it is not commercial commercialized used with larger capacity when we talk about small dipole even that is what used less so less use why the reason is radiation efficiency is less so radiation efficiency is less and even it is having higher losses and it has larger reactive field but reactive field region that is quite smaller than this artesian but relatively it is having larger reactive field so this is why this small dipole that is been used in very few applications when we are delivered to send signal for few kilometers only in that case we can use it not even for few kilometers but for few meters we can use this the reason is it has lower radiation efficiency and higher losses and it has larger reactive field so this small dipole that is having very few applications for use and this is what dipole antenna which is having length lambda by 2 so it is having maximum radiation efficiency in dipole category it has maximum radiation efficiency in dipole antenna category that's why it is used far more compared to this two dipole antenna so these are the basics that one should know about dipole antenna before they proceed with understanding of how, how dipole antenna is functioning and where they should be using dipole antenna so basically there are three types of dipole hertzian dipole small dipole and normal dipole antenna hertzian dipole antenna that is having length lower than lambda by 50 small dipole antenna is having length in between lambda by 10 to lambda by 50 and normal dipole antenna that is having length lambda by 2 radiation efficiency of lambda by 2 dipole antenna that is far greater than hertzian as well as small dipole antenna so use of this normal dipole antenna is far higher than this two dipole antenna so this is how it is been commercialized in the market thank you so much for watching this video in next session i'll explain few more things related to dipole antenna so stay tuned with this channel thank you so much for watching this video